Hello guys, I know you cannot see my face, but um, I'm here, hi. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a hamster cage. I guess we will just get right into it because I don't really have anything else to say. So this video here is actually a two-part video all about hamsters. One part of the video is going to be how to set up a hamster cage and the other part is going to be how to care for a hamster. So with these two videos, hopefully you get lots and lots of knowledge about hamsters and their care and their setup. So make sure after you watch this video, you go over and check out the other video. It will be linked in the description as well as I will have a little i card right here and it will be tagged at the end of the video as well. So make sure you check them both out as you don't want to miss any of it. So obviously when you are setting up a hamster cage, the first thing you are going to need is a cage itself. Now for this you have quite a few different options. Here I have a 40 gallon breeder. These are an awesome choice. There are a lot of other options too like bin cages, DIY cages, some store bought cages if you can find one big enough, but today I'm using a 40 gallon breeder. So now that you have your cage picked out, the next thing you will add is bedding. When it comes to choosing your bedding for your hamster, you have a couple options. My personal favorite is something like Carefresh here. It is a paper-based bedding. Fresh and Comfy here is also a paper-based bedding. The pieces are a bit smaller though than they are in Carefresh. And then there are Aspen wood shavings. Of course, there are tons of other ones, but this is what I have on hand, so this is what I'm going to show you. When you are picking your bedding though, you just want to stay away from any soft wood shavings such as pine and cedar, as they can cause issues for your hamster and any scented bedding. Anything other than that though, like any of these here, along with tons of others are safe for your hamster, any paper-based bedding that is unscented or any kind of Aspen shavings are good. So I showed you a bunch of different options, but the one I'm going to be using today is Carefresh. Keep in mind that hamsters are burrowing animals, so you'll want to put a couple inches of bedding, at least four in my opinion. So now that all the bedding's in here, I'm going to go ahead and add a wheel. A wheel is super important for hamsters. They definitely need one to run on and get exercise. For a steering hamster, you need at least an eight inch wheel. And for a dwarf hamsters, you need at least a six inch wheel. And it is important that you use a solid wheel, nothing with like wires or anything like that, because that can really hurt their feet. So it is important that you are using a solid wheel, at least eight inches for steering and six inches for dwarfs. Next up, I'm going to add one of these little flying saucer things. I think that's what they're called. You don't need one of these, but they're fun. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And along with the wheel, it's super important that you have some hide houses. Hamsters are natural predator animals. So need some hide houses to feel secure so I would definitely recommend having at least one or two so so far I have added my wheel my flying saucer and a couple little hiding spots I have this one here this one here and this one back here and now I also have this little tube here so this can kind of act as both a hide house and a chew toy so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here I'm going to kind of bury this one a little bit along with all this stuff it is super important that your hamster has some chew toys their teeth never stop growing and they need things to entertain themselves so it is very important that you add quite a few different chew toys. So I'm going to go ahead and add these ones here. They are little balls. <laughs> and then I also have just a couple of these wooden blocks to chew on that I'm going to scatter through the cage. And along with those little wooden blocks, I also have these little wooden sticks. These are really fun. So I'm also just going to scatter these in the cage. Then last up for chew toys, I have these two things here. These are really cute. I just saw these at PetSmart for the first time and I thought they were super cute. So I went and got them. It's a little banana and a little apple. And then of course, it's super important that you have a water bottle for your hamster. I have this one here and I have this little holder for it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. 
And the last thing I'm going to put in here is a food dish. I got this one here. It actually came from the cat section, but I wanted a food bowl big enough that my hamster could sit in it because a lot of times they like to sit in a food bowl while they eat. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this over here near the water bottle. So that is really all you need to do for setting up a hamster cage. It is super fun, super easy, and it can be pretty cheap as well. If you're on a budget, definitely go with like DIY cages, bin cages, whatever. There are some really great affordable options out there. Obviously glass tanks tend to be a bit more expensive than things like bin cages, but this is literally the finished product as long as you have an exercise wheel, some hide houses, and some chew toys along with a food water bowl, that's about it, as well as a cage big enough for the hamster. So now that your cage is done, you can go ahead and add your hamster. This here is Pumpkin, she is my Syrian hamster. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned how to set up a hamster cage. And if you liked it, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out all of my social media. Everything will be in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. It is time to let Pumpkin run around her new cage now.